automatic, giving in the niggas that they really gotta turn them all out. Turn them all out. Turn them all out. Turn them all out. Nine Lies, about to do an interview with Havoc today, so if you just follow me around the corner, we're gonna go ahead and meet up with him, check him out. First off, this is going down the road, introduce yourselves, starting right here. This big homie Stack, aka Andy Frank, aka Bob Blue Bob Blue Great. Show me what secrets. Lost Angel. Alright, uh, first question I got for you is how did y'all come together and start this group? <coughs> so are you, oh, man. Shit. I met these <laughs> niggas on Bone Board. Yeah, we met on the Bone Board, man. Just started collabing with music with each other. You know, yeah. and, um, in my battle cry, uh, yeah. all I can be with Do What You Gotta Do is really the first song we did. Yeah. You know, and, uh, after that, we just kind of decided to do the group thing. Alright, so how did you guys come up with the name Havoc? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of us remember, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know we went through a we like bunch of names, yeah. and yeah. nothing really fit. Havoc just stuck. Havoc, yeah, I mean, the whole, the definition of Havoc with the destruction and stuff, that's kind of what our flow to, is about and stuff. So it relates to our lives, what we do to these tracks and everything. I mean, this cause Havoc. So how did you guys come up with your individual names? Let's start right here on the end with Stack. Well, you know, you know, uh, <clears throat> it depends what one you talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Mr. I, I, Pat. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Pat, Pat's a great post, man. Don't forget that. Uh, you know, uh. I smoke a lot of weed, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so, so that's how you came in with that? You smoke a lot of weed. Smoke a lot of weed. Got it. <laughs> My name came from when I was younger. Uh, I used to write a bunch of stories and rhymes and stuff when I was like five years old. And uh, Rain was a character in one of my stories. It's kind of like. I don't know, I gave this character the lifestyle that I always wanted and stuff, so I always called myself Rain, and it's also a quote that means wrestling will never emerge, an acronym. So I just kind of lived by that and stuck by that since age five, you know what I'm saying? Alright, Secrets? Secrets is, I don't really consider it a name that I came up with myself. I mean, I think the people around me kind of created that persona of me being, you know, the quiet one, laid back, mysterious, quote unquote, keeping things from people or something. Um, disappearing all the fucking time. Disappearing all the time. Um, <laughs> Whatever the hell secrets all the time. So people kind of said these things in different areas. People that didn't even know each other, you know, said the same things. And I mean, I just took the name and I ran with it. And that's how you get secrets. Um, Lost Angel came from a character. It was like the first character I came up with. And it was basically based off of me. His name was L.A. When I decided to name him, I gave him a backstory. And his, the L stood for Lost, and his family name was Angel. So when I started doing the music, it kind of fit it. So. All right. So what is the biggest obstacle you had to overcome as a group? The distance. Yeah, that's it, the distance. Not being able to communicate like you want to because of that fact. Where was everybody? Um, <clears throat> I was in Maryland, Baltimore. This guy right here. I was in Ohio for a while, then I went to Idaho. Now I'm out here. I was all the way down to Florida. Um, I was between Maryland and North Carolina. I mean, the biggest thing was learning how to all be on the same page, how to, you know, do songs over the internet as far as songs like Turn Them All Out, you know, it sounds like we were all in person, but it's all over the internet and stuff, so the whole procedure of getting the structure and system down as far as making songs. All right, as far as your first performance together, how did you feel that your poor house performance last night <clears throat> went? I think we tore that mouth off. Yeah, we, we killed that shit. Yeah, <laughs> we killed that. That's shit. what I told Billy. You know, I was like, you killed that shit. I mean, the greatest feeling for me was when "Turn Them All Out," which was the last song we did, when we finally finished that, and to hear the crowd go crazy, and knowing that that was like our first time kind of being together, knowing that we killed that shit. I mean, it looked like 
we had been performing together for years. Yeah. And I mean, that wasn't even remotely the case. So it was good to like feel proud of all your boys and did yeah. what they did. I mean, it was a good feeling for me. I, I think for me, it was just the fact of actually wanting to do it for so long. I mean, from seeing Rain do, you know, things like when we on the floor on stage to remember, remember back when I first met him and we performed at Montgomery College and shit. It's just something, you know, I was waiting for it to happen. And, you know, I had a lot of people there to support us. And, you know, just everybody was just going nuts. And I was like, yeah, I'm digging this. Yeah, it's definitely a good feeling that I think we 